Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another review. Today I want to show you the G.I. Joe figure, the Honor Guard. This guy is very cool and I think you'll really like him. So let's get started. Here's the box. Pretty cool looking box. Unfortunately it is a little beat up and that's the way I bought it. The reason why I did that was because the price was considerably cheaper. Uh, in fact he was like maybe 20 bucks. So um, it's okay. I don't mind. I mean, I like having the boxes in good condition, but I mean, it's not terrible. As long as I got the figure in mint condition, that's all that matters to me. So anyway, here's the box. Um, this is cool here. We got the uh, famous here, Rest in Honor, Glory, an American Soldier Known But to God inscription that goes onto the monument in Washington, D.C. That's kind of cool. They put that on the front of the box. That's neat. Um, got a picture of the soldier there. Nice long description. Another picture of the honor guard patrolling the monument there. Um, on the top we have a description list. And this figure is part of the Delta collection. And he's also from the year 2000. All right, so there's the box. Even though it's beat up, it's still in one piece. Now let's get on to the actual figure. Here he is, he is very nice. He's got some awesome detailing here on his uniform. He's just really, really cool and I'm glad I have him. All right, first I'll show you his rifle because this is pretty nice. Okay, here's his rifle. Very cool. Love the detailing. I love the painted uh, wood effect on there. That's very nice if you can see that. Um, we do have a nice sturdy strap here. Um, that's pretty much it with the gun. He does come with a bayonet which can be attached to the end of the rifle there. I will show that in just a minute after I get through a few more things on his uniform. Okay. Here's a closer look of his hat and sunglasses on his head there. Looks very nice. Here's his hat up close. It's a very hard plastic material. Um, unfortunately it doesn't go, doesn't stick onto his head very well so you really have to push it down. Um, unfortunately it's just it kind of falls off a lot. Um, I might even have to strap it on, like put a strap on one day. I really don't want to do that though because that kind of takes away from the, actual, the figure in my opinion. But uh, it's, it's not too bad as long as you keep him standing upright. Anyway, there's the hat. Got some cool looking sunglasses here, those are very nice. Here's his head sculpt. This is a very common G.I. Joe head sculpt. Pretty cool one. And take a look at this uh, jacket he's got on. This is like one of my favorite parts of this figure. I just love this. This is so cool. I don't have dress blues. Um, these are my only dress blues that I have. So um, I'm very glad to have these. Very nice, awesome detailing. I'm um, on the side, if you can see that, it says Honor Guard. Um, he has some nice medals there. Some more medals over here. Now this belt is really cool. Um, we've got a nice little emblem on there. Just some very nice detailing. And even up top on his collar here we have some more emblems. Uh, sorry it's a little blurry. But those have uh, two little rifles on them I think. And over here it says US. And uh, even on his shoulders we have these different decoration uh, pieces here. We've got this nice strap around his left shoulder that's very cool and on his right you have this nice blue decoration piece that's very cool as well okay and here's that knife that I was talking about down here so I'll go ahead and take that out it's a cool little knife unfortunately it's kind of a pain to take out and uh, yeah the paint is a little scratched off because it's so hard to get out sometimes uh, I'm not really sure how to prevent that. It's kind of annoying. Oh well. 
Let me go ahead and put this his, put this on his rifle. There we go. That looks pretty cool. And let me just put that back in his hand so you can see what it looks like with the knife on. Very nice. And uh, while we're talking about the hands, I just want to show you his hands because they're very different from any other G.I. Joe figure in that they are custom made for this particular figure. Take a look at them. Um, they are done like that on purpose so that he can hold his rifle in a very ceremonious way. Just like that. Um, which is cool. I like that. Um, unfortunately, you can't really do anything else with the hands. I mean, they don't bend or anything. They're not like the typical articulated fingers. So um, that's pretty much all you can do with the figure as far as holding a weapon. Which is fine because... Um, uh, he just looks great on display, so it doesn't really matter. Alright. So those are his hands. Um, I like the gloves. Those are cool. Okay. Let me take off this belt piece here that does come off. That's very cool. Love that middle piece there. And, uh... Let me show you what's underneath his jacket. This was a bit of a shock to me. Uh, get ready for this. Okay. This is cool and everything. We have a nice tie. That looks great, but watch when I take off his jacket. Uh, I have seen this before on another figure. In fact, on the Point Du Hawk Army Ranger figure we see the same type of design a undershirt that is not complete look at these big gaps here there's no sleeves or anything um, that's probably my biggest complaint with this figure in fact probably my only complaint with this figure is just that I don't know why they didn't do any more work with this undershirt I mean most of the times you're not going to be taking this off but when you do I mean, it's kind of nice to have an undershirt that actually is a real shirt, not something that's uh, open like that. So, um, to me, it just seems kind of lazy on the part of Hasbro. I usually don't pick on their figures, but this to me, I just, I, I don't understand why they didn't complete it. That's kind of a bummer to me, because I like detail, and I like to see uh, underclothes. I think that's really cool, especially since they put a tie there. That's really nice, but... Yeah, you take off the coat and you see this, and it just doesn't look very good. So yeah, that's my only complaint with the figure. Uh, that's just <laughs> not cool to me, but whatever. This jacket, though, is really nice. I love this this uh, navy blue jacket. That's really, really cool. Okay, uh, a few more things here. Really cool pants there. Um on the back you can unbutton this and we do have a dog tag so there's his dog tag that's pretty cool and uh, got some nice dress shoes here let me take these off because underneath we have something really cool we have black socks as I've mentioned before I love seeing socks on figures so I was super excited to see those black socks those are very nice and these shoes are very nice as well but yeah these black socks are really really nice really cool glad to see that they put some socks on this guy makes them look ten times better and it also helps to make these shoes fit better on his foot alright so there he is guys the G.I. Joe Honor Guard very cool figure my only complaint was of course this unfinished unfinished uh, dress shirt underneath um, but that's it overall a very cool figure and it looks great be on it look he looks great on display so uh, definitely think about picking him up if you're interested in him uh, it's pretty common on eBay can be a little pricey at times but uh, if you do if you do what I did and just uh, get one that has a kind of a messed up box I'm sure you find one for a decent price 
So thanks for watching guys. Um, stay tuned for more videos.